today we're going to be seeing just what can you do with Internet Explorer on an old version of Windows, such as Windows XP. Uh, as you might know, Internet Explorer 8 is a bit out of date. Ever since the removal of YouTube's Flash Player, you YouTube playing is no longer possible using Internet Explorer 8 or lower. If you directly paste a YouTube link from somewhere else or click on a video in the, in the feed, it still won't work because of the removed Flash Player and Internet Explorer 8 lacks any sort of HTML5 support at all. We've already established that it's pretty bad in terms of in terms of its rendering capabilities, but also a thing to think about is security, because Internet Explorer 8 on Windows XP 64-bit edition, at the very least, only sports up to TLS 1.0. And if you're on 32-bit edition, you can use the TOS Ready 2009 hack to get those updates, and that'll get you TOS 1.1 and 1.2. However, it lacks ECC, so it's not exactly terribly useful, but it can allow a few more sites to load. Some websites such as Reddit still barely work. However, Reddit, you're stuck to the old theme. Not that that's bad, I like the old theme. And the upvote and downvote buttons don't work. And of course a lot of the links that take you outside of Reddit don't don't function. So what are we going to do to try to make Internet Explorer 8 or possibly even 7 or 6 work? Well, we're going to try to use Google Chrome Frame. You should be able to use this on Windows XP, SP2, and later, although when you get up to like Windows 7 it sort of becomes pointless because then Internet Explorer you have version 11 which is probably about as good. I do believe that I heard something uh, that someone managed to get it to work on Windows 2000 with the extended kernel, but I'm not exactly familiar with how you do that. And once it finishes installing, you should be able to open Internet Explorer and it should be able to uh, use the Chrome rendering engine. As you can see, stuff looks a little different as opposed to when we were rendering this in Internet Explorer 8. So now, if we try to load XP forms, we still have the problem of this horrible security ciphers in Internet Explorer 8. However, MSFN should load because I believe it still allows HTTP connections. And it's just a question of whether or not the, the discontinued Chrome 36 rendering engine can manage to display it. So as you can see, loading YouTube, it looks a lot less broken. And well, we still can't search for stuff. However, if we paste a YouTube video link, we'll be able to play it. I think the only reason that uh, the comments aren't loading is because of my internet. It does that sometimes. If we go back to Reddit, we can see that it loads. And it loads reasonably well. The theme looks a little less broken and all that good stuff. If we head over to google.com, we can we can figure out our user agent. Rose. As you can see by our user agent, we can see that the Chrome rendering engine is actually based on Chrome 32. As for pages with ActiveX controls, they will still work as it will fall back to the Internet Explorer rendering engine to be able to use it. 
and an example being Windows Update. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, modern-ish stuff being able to happen in Internet Explorer 8. There will be a download link in the description. All you have to do is install it and it will work. But remember that the software is no longer supported and use it at your own risk.